Before you start painting a room, it's important to get the room ready for your project. Move as many items and furniture from the room as possible. If you cannot remove the heavy furniture, no worries, move it to the centre of the room and cover it with a clear plastic sheet or heavy canvas drop cloth to protect these items from getting splattered with paint and from dust when prepping the ceilings and the walls. Use masking tape or painter's tape to secure the drop cloth. Depending on your project, you may wish to remove the doors to gain better access to painting the trim. Now to remove a door, it's quite easy. You can simply remove the door by hitting the hinge pin, like so, and the doors will come out. However, the other option is to leave the door in place because that way you can gain full access all the way around, plus you don't have to come back and touch up the hinges. Then you'll carefully want to remove any photographs or artwork from the walls. Now this is very important. If they're not going back in the exact same place, all nails and screws need to be removed so we can fill that later. Window coverings, drapes and curtains need to be removed. Now it's important if you have a fireplace is to cover that with clear plastic sheeting or a drop cloth and then secure it with painter's tape. Now we're going to be using a lamp throughout our painting process. So we need to cover that up as well so it doesn't get covered with paint. You want to remove all the electrical outlet covers and all the switch plates to the room. This is very easy to do and this will save you a lot of time as you won't have to cut around each one. It's also important to have a designated container for all the fittings so you don't lose them. And then you want to use some painter's tape to cover the outlets like that. You will also need to remove all vent covers and remove all loosen or light fixtures in order to be able to paint behind them. If you do not want to remove the light fixtures, you need to tape them off with painter's tape. Now it's important to cover the entire floor with drop cloths or dust sheets. And that's simply going to protect it from paint and from dust. You want to use a wide painter's tape to adhere it to the floor. And you'll see that 50% of it is going on the drop cloth and the other half is going down onto the floor. Now you'll notice that I'm going tight against the baseboard because that's where I'm going to paint to. And it's very important that you rub this down nice and tight and that will prevent paint from getting underneath the tape. Now if you have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, the same method applies. However, you'll put the tape a little bit closer to the baseboard, like up against it, and you'll tuck it down with a scraper blade, and that way it will protect the carpet when you're preparing and painting the baseboard.